Hello everyone, I'm Melissa New and welcome to What's in Your Bag. I'm here with Chase Reynolds with LensRentals.com. That's kind of a tongue twister a little bit. Okay. Right? Kind of? Did it I was on my right? tongue pretty well. <laughs> you know, okay. I, I got it. Lot. I got this. And we're with Alan Hess, a concert photographer. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's that's what I do. Amongst many other things. Right. Mainly I'm known for my concert photography and it actually happens to be my passion. And uh, I have a little bit of a switch going on. I'm doing a little bit more pet photography. But, what? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll touch that's that. Like... It's the same kind of gear and the same kind of settings too. It's a really weird thing. Oh but, my gosh, really? that's amazing. Right. Well, Chase, you do a lot of concert concert yeah. stuff as well. I came from the music industry. I was doing production and touring, and uh, I just hadn't always had cameras with me. So part of what I, how I got, I got started was just access. Right. You know, if you're the person with the camera and you have behind the scenes access, yeah. you get some really cool uh, shots. We don't like you. Yeah, you don't like, you don't like oh. me because you're out after three songs. Right, you're out of the pit, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, we've got some fighting words. It's now. okay. It's well, okay. Well, I well, let's talk. I'm gonna kind of turn this to you. This is kind of your your thing. So what? What kind of? Uh, let's let's talk about gear. Let's pull out the geek stuff. Yeah. Right. What is it that you guys usually do with with concert? The D4 has something that, and the D4S has something that no other still camera has. It has a different kind of uh, memory card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has the XQD memory card, which um, I really hope gets a little more wide use. It's yeah. a it's a kind of a cool. Um, it's a smaller form factor, so it's really solid. It's bigger. It's oh, smaller yeah. than the compact flash, but it's bigger than an SD card. You seen these? You read those okay. babies out? Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, but the thing is that they're so fast. I mean, they, they are. They are ridiculously fast. Are they really? So I can shoot, um, and I put this to the test in real world situations. I can shoot uh, about ninety to hundred full size raw images at ten frames a second. Oh, jeez. For before, 90, before 90 years, before it even starts to buffer. And if I take my finger off and stop shooting, it takes about five or six seconds and I can do it again. I mean, it, it, it's amazing. So you get a drummer who's going through some solo, you can really, don't, you're not limited to five or six you know, frames before your buffer sure. starts. You can do 10, 15, 20 mm -hmm. over and over and over again. Sports guys running by you, the dogs come by on the beach. Yeah. I mean, I, it was, we had two Huskies playing on the beach and I, I it was like a video clip by the time I was done because I just yeah. You know, but they're all 16 megapixel raw files, wow. and every motion that they're going through 10 frames a second was amazing. And that can be the difference between getting a shot and not, right? You know, especially when you're you know pets run around everywhere. Music photography, it's normally a very short time period. You know, you've got to be able to yeah. Like, Willie Nelson nail a shot. At two minutes a song. You know, it's a, the whole shoot is six minutes. You you don't have right. a whole lot of time. You know, if you're if you're waiting for your camera to buffer through stuff, mm -hmm. you're like. Could you guys hold that pose just for a minute? You know, it's like the guitar thing's really cool, but my camera's, you know, cat, you know, it's like, buffering. Right. And I shot uh, for the first time yesterday. I shot a D810. Um, what you was, think? I, I was really impressed with the file quality. It took my brain a little while to get over the fact that I couldn't shoot 10 frames in right. a row. I saw this guitar player and the smoke coming by, and I missed a lot of shots at the end mm. because I'm used to shooting a little earlier now and yeah. shooting through the action a little more than, you know, the spot. Mm. But the, sure. that's a really Beautiful camera. I was like, if you want to try something out, that's a that's a really nice camera to to, to work out, and and um, it might be my next. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, it was. That you might hurt his feelings. Well, this one will always be the main camera for the yeah, concerts, okay. but that one has a it has some advantages that people don't it always really think does. about for concert photography. It's a 36 megapixel sensor, so in crop mode, you're still getting like 16 or 18 megapixels to mm -hmm, use, sure. and it turns your four, your 200 millimeter lens into like a 300 or 270. You know? yeah. So you're getting a little more reach, and you're still getting a huge file that you can use, and you're getting focus points that are further out to the side. Yeah. So you get a lot of advantages using it in crop mode that I don't think some concert photographers think about. I, I also believe that if you add the battery grip and shooting crop mode, you get like six frames a second, mm -hmm. or you know, you get a little extra. Um, extra push on that side, so that all those little factors start, you know, like filtering in, and you're like, that's a that's a good camera to, to, oh, yeah. to be a nice second body, you know, right behind this one. Well, Alan, tell tell the folks at home where they can find your work, uh, Alan, your concert and pet. Work. Well, right <laughs> right now it's alanhasphotography.com is my website, and so most of it is all the concert stuff. I do post um, things when I work at like Comic Con or I do some big event, and I you know I'll post stuff about that too. I like gear. I'm, I'm really like, I really enjoy like yeah. the, the mechanics behind Chase it. Chase is like, me too. We're going to hang out after this. <laughs> I know, get this girl out here so we can talk geek talk. No, I would definitely encourage you guys at home to check out alanhess.com. Check Alan out his work. Alanhessphotography.com. It's A-L-A-N-H-E-S-S. H-E-S-S. Photography.com. Definitely check out his books. He's a great 
instructor, educator, um, but an all-around cool guy. <laughs> I, I feel that so. San Diego vibe. But also, he talked a lot about the Daikons, the 72 to 200, and Chase mentioned other gear that he uses as well. Definitely check out lensrentals.com if you want to check these out. Anyways, Alan, thank you so much for your time. That was a pleasure. Thank you.